as soon as electrical power is supplied, the CVR runs automatically for five minutes, then shuts down until the first engine start. To make sure the CVR is powered, switch on the ground control push button switch. The blue on light in the ground control push button switch indicates that the CVR is powered. Now the CVR can be tested by pressing and holding the CVR test push button. On the test indicator, the illumination of at least one green LED in the sequence indicates that the test result is good. If an acoustic equipment is plugged into the CVR panel, the test will be heard as a low frequency signal. Before starting the first engine, let's welcome the passengers on board. To welcome the passengers on board, you need to make a passenger address announcement. Two methods are available to achieve this. First, you can press and hold the PA transmission key while speaking into the boom set. The second method is to use the cockpit PA handset. To use it, you press and hold its PTT switch while speaking into its integral microphone. In this exercise, you will be the first officer. In order to communicate with ATC, you will tune the VHF-1 radio. You can easily do so by selecting VHF-1 on RMP-2. Select VHF-1 on RMP-2. No, select the VHF-1 key on RMP-2. The selector light illuminates on both RMPs, on RMP1 to indicate that VHF1 is selected on another RMP, and on RMP2 because VHF1 is not its dedicated radio. Now you can tune the desired frequency in the standby window on RMP2. Select the standby frequency 126,000. No. Select the frequency rotary knob. Transfer the standby frequency to the active window. Observe that the active frequency changed on both RMPs. However, the standby frequency on RMP1 is unchanged, but the previous active frequency is displayed in the standby window of RMP2. This enables either pilot to change the active frequency on any radio and not change the standby frequency of the other pilot. Re-establish the selector light normal configuration. Now, let's use the ACP to establish the communication. The VHF-1 reception push button is released and comes on white. The volume is adjusted and VHF-1 transmission key is selected. You are now ready for a transmission and reception on VHF-1. To VHF-1, you can use the interphone radio switch held in radio position, the side stick PTT switch, or the hand mic PTT. You can now continue with the cockpit preparation. So that the intercom is always available, the interphone reception knob should be released out and volume adjusted. We have done this for you. Let's now look at a call indication from the ground crew mechanic. You hear a buzzer and notice the amber mechanic light flashing on all the ACPs. Reset the mechanic indications. No, select the reset button on the ACP. The mechanic light is automatically cancelled after 60 seconds or when the reset push button is pressed on any ACP. To talk with the grand mechanic, you have two possibilities. Normally, you select the interphone position on the interphone radio switch. But you can press the interphone transmission key, then talk 
using a PTT switch. Select the interphone position on the interphone radio switch. This position gives you a hot mic to talk to the other pilot and the ground mechanic. You can speak in the boom set without any other selection. Although we have not left the ground yet, the operations in slide are identical. You have completed the operation module.